Oh, oh hey. Didn't see you guys there. It's jacked out. Welcome back to another video. Um, first of all, before I do anything else, I just want to say sorry for no video yesterday. If you didn't see this photo right here that I posted on Instagram two nights ago, you would see uh, just how much time I spent on, well not how much time I spent, you didn't see me spending time in the photo, but you saw just how many packages that I packaged myself, sent out all alone, you can just imagine how long that all would have taken, so that pretty much took up my whole entire day yesterday, and I didn't really want to quickly rush out and just like film a half ass video at the end of the day, I'd rather just wait for a quality video the next day, uh, which is going to be the grinding, the board slide tutorial on my flat bar, but um, yeah, I'm sorry for no video yesterday, daily videos are still going strong, but just had to miss one day, but a break is always good, and um, I just knew that yeah I didn't want to just make like a crappy video quickly at the end of the day getting all those orders out is like a first priority to me I just want to make sure everyone gets their products on time and speaking of people's products and my website and all that get over to www.checkedout.com there are plenty more t-shirts left in stock in size extra small small medium large and extra large and thousands of stickers left so get online get shopping get popping I'm gonna teach you how to board slide today on a scooter on a rail let's get right into it it's one of my favorite tricks I just watched back that clip and it wasn't in focus at all Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got my flat bar right here today. Uh, it's about six inches off the ground. It's about a meter and a half long. That's the kind of rail you uh, you want to start off with. You don't want to rail any smaller, otherwise your wheels are going to be rubbing along the ground. You want something around the height of like a gutter, like a sidewalk, something around that height to start off with. Nothing lower, nothing higher, or just something that you feel comfortable with. If it's something higher than a rail, roughly six inches off the ground, then go for something a little bit higher, but uh, I think something six inches off the ground. Like a rail that has an end to it, like a rail where you can go off the end, you don't have to hop off the side, is good. It doesn't really matter how long it is if you can go off the end, because you can just start off short and work your way up uh, to the full length. But yeah, my rail's about six inches high, uh, about a meter and a half to two meters long at maximum. Just find a rail that you feel comfortable on hopping onto. Just practice your bunny hops next to it like so. As long as you can get above the rail, or at least your front wheel above the rail, then you should be just fine with learning the boards like when you first learn them you don't necessarily have to get straight on top and center all your weight you can kind of get on the side and then work your way onto the top so something around that size will be perfect for learning board slides. There's three important steps to a board slide, and those are doing the bunny hop, all right, hopping onto the rail. Then there's the board slide itself, which is grinding along the rail, and then there's coming off and rolling away. They're the three main steps to a board slide. The easiest board slide there is, is a backside board slide. You can do a board slide front side, or backside or both, but today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a backside board slide because that is what 99% of freestyle scooter riders are more comfortable with. The same tips will apply for a front board. They might be a little bit different, but uh, most people board slide backside naturally like I do. And a backside board slide is when you roll up to the rail with your heels facing the rail. So technically the rail is on your backside if you stand fully sideways. And uh, you hop onto the rail, your heels are facing the rail, and once you're on the rail, you're technically grinding forward. And that's why the backside board slide is easier because you're grinding forward for the grind and then you just do like a normal kind of backside rotation, 90 degree spin off. So really a board slide is pretty straightforward. It's just hopping on the board slide itself and landing. Now, um, the little ways to kind of get over the fear of doing that. Instead of committing to a board slide like this on your first time, what you want to do if you're goofy like I am with your right foot forward, your left foot is obviously the back of the deck. What you want to do is take that off and just land on the rail with your right foot. So practice just kind of taking off your back foot like that. And if you're regular, taking off your back foot like that and just stepping up onto the rail like that. Just do that. And then kind of push. And just push. Push through like that. And just feel like the sliding traction with your deck and the rail. You know what I mean? Now that looks very, very simple, although it's going to help heaps with feeling out what a board slide is really like without having two feet on the deck. And it just kind of gives you the feel of the kind of friction between, you know, like the metal of your deck and the metal of the rail or wood or wood. I do not recommend grinding on wood. I don't know why I just said that. Learn it on a metal flat bar. Now you can get a little bit of a run up and uh, kind of step up and roll away. Now you want to learn to kind of commit on top of the rail. And instead of committing to hop kind of on top, you want to hop over like this. Simply bunny hop over the rail a couple of times back and forth. And it's just going to give you the feel of actually going up and over the rail, seeing the rail underneath you, which might not seem like much, but it's a big factor when it comes to board sliding. Seeing the rail underneath you and realizing that you're actually on top of it and in control. Hop over, hop over, hop over. Do that a couple of times. The next step is, instead of hopping like I just showed you before like this, and taking your back foot off and leaving your front foot on, you want to keep your back foot on and take your front foot off over the other side of the rail. So not like this, not like that. You want to go, like that. You want to try and make your deck hit the rail 
and lean too much over the rail and use your front foot to kind of catch your landing like this. Once again, hop up, lean too far over, have your right foot catch the landing. And now you're comfortable with hopping onto the rail too much to that side and too much to that side. Now you're ready to commit on top of the rail and grind along. Now the methods I just showed you are going to help catch your landing when you're going to fall, I guess. But you're not going to fall because those methods will help you, I guess, yeah, catch your landing. I think once you've gotten over the fear and know that you can bail, you can just go for a board slide because you know that if you're going to fall, you can kind of catch your landing. And uh, that's all a board slide really is. I'm going to show you a couple of examples right now on my rail, show you a couple of combos as well. Board slides are just like the start of something new with with scooter riding with with grinding in general i mean anyone can really feeble ledge but board slides and rails are a whole nother step and if you do learn this trick film it upload it to instagram tag me and i will like your post um because i love to see me teaching you guys tricks so if you learn board slides get online film it upload it i'll like your post just tag me in the post on instagram i'll hopefully see it i'll do my best to see it i'm gonna show you a couple of board slides right now show you a couple of combos because as i said it's a whole new it's like a whole new generation of tricks. You can bar spin on, you can bar spin off, you can whip on, you can whip off, you can go board to back lip, you can go front board. If you want to learn any other board slide or grind variations on rails, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. If you just came to this video just to learn how to grind and not really to find a new YouTuber to follow, well, I make YouTube videos every single day. I make scooter riding vlogs. I'm a street rider. There's not many street riders out there making vlogs right now, so I'm something kind of new that no one's ever really, I guess, seen before. So if you want to kind of join my life, I make daily videos every single day at 5.30 p.m. Sydney, Australian time. I try and do a tutorial at least like once a week depending on how I feel I like to kind of get out and adventure a lot so if you're new to the channel subscribe turn on post notifications leave a positive comment below for any future video suggestions and uh, for future tutorial suggestions let me know what tricks you want to learn I'm gonna show you a couple of board slide examples right now maybe a couple of combos as well that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching once again guys I do apologize for no video yesterday I just really could not make one I was just so tired after all that packing and um, it just pretty much shook up the whole day and once again I didn't really want to like half ass the videos so that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and enjoy the combos. Goodbye.